Hey guys. Oh. Now, if you guys are trying to get into losing weight, it might be a little bit intimidating. What do I eat? What groceries do I get? Do I have to rub this magical white sauce on my belly? Well, your boy Bax is here to help. When you're trying to lose weight, the goal is to make it as easy as possible, make your food taste as good as possible, and make the journey as easy and sustainable as you can. And how do you do this, you ask? You get yourself some dang good groceries. If you guys don't know, your boy was a little bit overweight himself. My highest weight ever was 270 pounds. In the beginning of last year, I went from this to this using the majority of these groceries I'm about to show you right now a lot of these things that I'm gonna show you today are simply just alternatives to things that you already use say you like making burgers there's a way to make burgers and fries that actually taste good and that can help you lose weight because they're lower calorie alternatives I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite alternatives my favorite cheat codes for when you're trying to hit your weight loss goals without further ado let's get into a fat loss grocery haul with Bax filmed by mama Bax when you're trying to get some groceries, you don't want to be spending a million dollars. We pulled up to the one and only. Wally World. I've never brought a camera into a store. Let's do it, mom. Let's mess with some people. I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna rob them. No, none of this. <laughs> be discreet. Don't make it look like I'm a like you're you're the paparazzi, man. All right, fellas, we're going into Walmart. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite groceries I get. We're actually not gonna buy anything. We're gonna walk in here, record, and leave. Cool. Oh. Mom. My mom wanted to take a picture of the flowers. Pick out a locale shirt. Are you gonna get angles? Get out of the women's department. Why? I need a new dress. Mom, let's get over to the meat. You know I love meat. You know I do love meat. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know my mom's recording, show yourself in the camera, man. Come on, dog. Oh, whatever. No, let's start off with dessert, mom. Let's show them a comparison. Where's Ben and Jerry's? There it is. This whole tub of ice cream, 1,120 calories. This little thing, mom. You see this? What is this? Get it out of here. Same size container, probably tastes near the same. 340 calories. That's over 800 calories off. Look for those, man. Nix, the sorbets are good too. Enlightened is pretty good. Halo Top is another good one. These fudge pops, no sugar added fudge. Mom, we need to get these actually. 40 cals, that's at least four inches. Pretty like average size. Those bomb pops are 40 cals too. You can pretty much get any popsicle that's like 40 cals each. That can fill you up to the brim. Fellas, we got the lean meats on deck. Lean meats are a cheat code. Low in calorie, high in protein. There's chicken, there's lean ground beef. You can get some ground chicken. There's a lot of options. And I'm pretty sure like chicken is 240 calories and like 50 grams of protein for eight ounces of chicken. You know how good of a protein calorie ratio that is, mom? Chicken breast right here for all these. That's like, that's like, that's massive amounts of meat. $12 for all this chicken breast. You can make air fried chicken. Think of the possibilities. You can make tacos, chicken tacos, lean ground beef tacos. You can make sandwiches with any kind of meat. Same thing with these deli meats too. 50 calories, nine grams of protein. You can throw that on a sandwich, bring it to school, throw it on a grandma. Now onto the drinks. If you guys like soda, if you guys like any of that, that stuff can add up the calories quick. One soda could be 240 cows. You come over here, get a blackberry lemonade. This whole thing's 10 calories. Things like this, low calorie, you're going to make sure you're not drinking your calories and they're not wasting any calories and not keeping you full. Because when you're trying to lose weight, make the best out of your calories. So you're not starving. You're not none of that. Hey, we stay full around here, mom, by any means necessary. Let's see what else we got. We're scouring the aisles. When I'm in a pinch and I'm very hungry, I love to eat some bounty. I'm just kidding. Or am I? Eggs, very good. Very good, healthy fat. Got some protein in there. Egg white. It'll take out some of the calories. It just doesn't have the fat in there. Turkey bacon's another lean meat. Bagel sandwiches makes a turkey bacon egg and cheese. Since when did Walmart have Fair Life? If you're trying to get some easy protein in and you like milk, Fair Life. Look at this. Each serving 13 grams of protein for chocolate milk. Throw that, throw that into protein shakes, even bump up the protein even more. Throw that in with a scoop of protein. That's like 40 grams of protein. Easy. Now you might say to me, Baxter, butter isn't low calorie, or is it? Spray butter. Zero cows, zero problem. This probably has enough chemicals to kill a cow, but do you have to kill a cow to get butter? Oh, it's from the milk? Here's another example of a low calorie drink. Gatorade Zeros. Eh, 80 cows for this little thing, but hey, that could still add up. If you drink like three or four or five of these, that's well over 300, 400 calories. Hey, drink the Gatorade Zero, it tastes the same, man. Popcorn, another low calorie snack. One bag of this is only 100 calories. Pop two, three bags of this, you're gonna be munching on corn for the whole night. Bring a grandma out of the movies, bring some low cal popcorn. Another staple, low fat pretzels. 110 calories for 26 sticks. That's another good low calorie snack. That popcorn is probably my two favorites. Ah, I call this the mobile meat. Do you guys wanna have some meat on the go? Beef jerky, easy protein, low calorie, tastes fire. It might be $14. Yeah, why is that $14 actually? Wait a minute. Yeah, we need to get out of here. We're not paying $14 for me. Oh my goodness, there it is. The Eight cheat calories. code of yogurt. These light and fit yogurts are amazing. 80 calories, 12 grams of protein for this whole tub. You guys are lacking on protein for the day or just need a sweet treat. They taste like candy. And my mom loves diet soda. Do you, lo do you love diet soda? Can't stand soda and it's not good for you ever. Can you run it down why it's so bad? Sugar. Diet soda has no sugar. And then diet sodas, the diet component is bad. For What's the diet component? I, I don't remember. We have no shown study from Mama Bax. Do not listen to Mama Bax. Do not listen to Mama Bax, fellas. Do not listen. Hey, show them. Yeah. 
wait, 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 yeah. Back to the low calorie drinks. If you guys don't know about this, you're living on planet Jupiter. Ice sparkle waters, five calories. This tastes amazing. If you're feeling quenched, get a cherry limeade, get a lemonade, get a strawberry watermelon, get a grapefruit. Okay. They have so many flavors and they taste good. Uh -oh. If you guys are trying to really keep yourself full, you need to get some greens in. It just buffs up the volume of the meal. It's gonna keep you fuller. And they're healthy for you. They're getting their vitamins, nutrients. The grandma's kind of like them, but not really. Season them well, cook them, cook them right. And they taste pretty dang good. Yeah, throw some broccoli in with something. I don't even know what these are, mom. What are these? Pick a veggie, pick a, pick a bell pepper. I don't know. Mom, I'm gonna start screaming and be like, why are you recording me? And just start running. What do you think people would do? Pickles. I love pickles. Zero calories. Zero problems. Eat as many of these as you want. You like pickles? You like pickles? I, don't, I guess they don't like pickles. Tortillas. If you guys wanna make up some tacos, wanna make some low-cal quesadillas, here we go, 70 per tortilla. This isn't the lowest you can get. This one's 70, like compared to this one. Like this one's 110, 140. Like you, you use two, three, four, five of these. That's uh, cutting off 60 cals each tortilla, something you should think about. I don't like tuna, but tuna is a cheat code. 100 calories, 22 grams of protein per serving for tuna. My favorite cheat code for candy. The Zero Sugar Jolly Ranchers. Oh my goodness. 35 calories for four of these. Four of these Johns. A lot of milk per serving is like 110 calories, 100, I don't even know, 100 plus calories. But if you go with the almond milk, this almond milk is 30 calories per cup, while a regular glass of like whole milk is like 150. If you wanna make some smoothies, if you wanna make like a protein shake and cut the calories down a little bit, Use almond milk. Another thing, hot sauces like, like sriracha, like Frank's Red Hot, Louisiana, all zero calories. You can spice up your food, give a mad flavor for zero calories. And there's also a lot of low calorie sauces like GQ sauce, the barbecue sauce. This has been a pretty good, pretty good shop, mom. I'm not gonna lie to you. That Walmart didn't really have that much stuff. I showed you guys some of my essentials. The only thing that I couldn't find, low calorie cooking spray. I'm pretty sure using zero calorie cooking spray instead of olive oil cuts out like 240 calories per two tablespoons or something like that. So it's something crazy. I'm sweating. I'll show you guys some more items in my house if I find them. But yeah, let's get to the house. All right, fellas, we're back at the crib. Let's try to find some things that I didn't find. Oh yes, zero calorie cooking spray. This is a great alternative for actually cooking your stuff in pans. Like how many calories in a tablespoon of olive oil? One tablespoon of olive oil is 119 calories. One tablespoon, that's bro. This is a tablespoon. One of these, that, why did I just lick that? Now I have to wash it. Spray some nonstick spraying oil on your pans and cook with that, man. If you guys struggle getting your protein in, you need some quick, easy protein, get a protein powder. One scoop of this is 110 calories. You can throw this in a bunch of different things. You can make protein pancakes, protein waffles, sprinkle it on your uncle. I don't know. You can make tons of stuff with these though. There's literally low calorie alternatives to everything. Y'all just need to try to find it. So hopefully this video was a help to you guys. Now you guys got a solid grocery list when you go into the store and be like, yo, what should I do if I'm trying to lose weight? If you guys have any questions for me, literally just drop it in the comments or just DM me on Instagram. I try to answer all my DMs. New vid should be out next week, like usual. Um, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. We're at like 3.5 thousand subscribers. That's nuts. You know Bax loves nuts. But hey, we'll see you next week for another banger. And until then, I'll give you a kiss. We just do be out, baby.